welcome back to my channel Phylopharmacology. In today's session, let us learn about high drops administration. So in this session, we are going to understand the correct way of administration of high drops correctly. So here you can see that there are 11 steps for correct way of administration of eye drops. So first of all, what you should do is you need to wash your hands. Please remember you need to wash your hands before handling your eye drops or before touching your eyes. The first point is you need to wash your hands. Next step two is if the individual is wearing a contact lens, you ask her or him to take them out, take them out. And third step is to shake the drops vigorously before using them. So please remember you need to shake the drops vigorously before using them. The fourth step is you need to remove the cap of eye drop medication but please remember a very important step is not to touch the dropper tip so why you should not touch the dropper tip the reason being if you touch the dropper tip the dropper could pick up some bacteria from the fingers and contaminate the bottle of medication so whenever you are removing the cap make sure that you do not touch the dropper tip so that the tip won't get contaminated by bacteria from your fingers so the next step is fifth one that is you need to ask the patient or individual to tilt the head back slightly and look up Please remember the head should be tilted back slightly and look up. So next step is so use one hand to pull your lower eyelid down that is away from your eye so that there will be formation of pocket or the pouch to catch the drop. So remember with one hand you need to pull the lower eyelid so that it forms a pocket. Following that you need to hold the dropper tip directly over the eyelid pocket. So dropper tip needs to be held directly over the eyelid pocket. The next step is step number 8. Please do not touch the bottle to your eye or eyelid. Again, the reason being this can give rise to bacteria or other contaminants that can get inside the eye through the eye drops. So, please do not touch the bottle to your eye or eyelid. The reason being this can give rise to bacteria or other contaminants a chance to grow in your eye drops. So do not touch bottle to your eye or eyelid. Following that you squeeze the bottle gently so that the eye drop falls into the pocket. So you need to squeeze the eye drop bottle gently. Therefore the eye drops will fall into the pocket. Following that, you need to close your eyes and it should be kept closed for at least 2 to 3 minutes without blinking. So, eye has to be closed at least for 3 minutes without blinking. So, following that, a very important step is while you are closing your eyes, make sure that one finger needs to be applied gentle pressure to the inner side of cornea, 
inner side of cornea of the eye so that by application of gentle pressure to the inside the corner of the eye we are going to stop the medication from draining into the nasal passage and getting into your mouth or throat so please remember you need to apply a gentle pressure using one finger to the inside corner of the eye so that you stop the medication draining into your nasal passage and getting into the mouth or throat so these are the very important 11 steps that you need to follow for correct way of administration of eye drops following that there are some important points you need to keep in mind that is you need to use the tissue or other cloth to wipe off any excess liquid around your eyes and if you need to put or instill second eye drops into the same eye please wait for another 5 or 10 minutes after putting the first drop following that you need to recap that is put the cap back onto the bottle and do not touch the dropper tip or try to clean it again the reason being it gets contaminated with the bacteria and finally you need to wash your hands to remove any medication that got on them and please remember store the bottle as described on the label or the instruction given by your doctor or pharmacist so just to summarize whenever you are giving a eye drop please remember you need to lower the lower eyelid so that it forms a pouch or the pocket so into the pouch or the pocket you need to squeeze the bottle so that the drop will get inside through the pocket or the pouch and following that you should very important step is you, you should not touch the dropper tip or you should not tip the you should not touch the dropper tip to the lower eyelid also because of the risk of contamination so following that you need to apply gentle pressure over the inside the corner of the eyes so that there won't be any drainage of eye drops into the nasal passage as well as there won't be any drainage into the mouth or throat so this was all about the correct way of administration of eye drops if you find this video useful please do subscribe to my channel i love pharmacology and do not forget to share and hit the like button for more updates on pharmacology so thank you